Welcome back to In Focus. Some people incarcerated in the U.S. prisons are creating art to express themselves. Prison art is also used as a tool for rehabilitation, and some of the art is sold in galleries here in Washington. The sale profits are split between the artists and the Prison Foundation, a nonprofit organization that promotes prison arts. VOA's Deborah Block has that story. Idyllic scenes like these were created by people imprisoned across the United States. For many of them, it's a reminder of a world they left behind outside of prison. Dennis Sobin, head of the Prisons Foundation, was incarcerated for 12 years. His outlet was playing guitar. Art is a very much of a redemptive, a rehabilitative, a therapeutic uh, vehicle for people. Sobin founded the Prisons Foundation while he was still behind bars. He says besides nature and landscapes, there are other common themes. Other people want to be with family, so they'll paint pictures of family gatherings, family scenes. And then there are some that are so angry about the prison experience that they want to do protest type of painting, showing the harsh realities of prison life, the bars. The art is sold in galleries in the Washington area. They take a portion of the profit. Dale Johnson, owner of the Watergate Gallery, says some inmates are talented. There's a lot of sensitivity in this art. You can see what people are thinking. Most are drawings or paintings on paper or cardboard, but sometimes other items are used. This is an example of art done with a handkerchief, uh, with the ends kind of pulled out and embroidered. It was sent to us folded. Brian Driggers was released from prison a month ago. He created an abundance of art during the eight years he was incarcerated. Some of his art is in the Crime and Punishment Museum in Washington. He used a pen or pastels, since paint and brushes were not allowed because they could be used for body art. Driggers spoke with VOA via Skype on what he used to create this portrait of his wife. I created the brush out of my own hair. Uh, I would cut a lock of my hair out, uh, fold it up, tie it up with uh, dental floss, and then use a pen and then paint with instant coffee. Uh, you could uh, mix it down with different levels of water to create uh, different tones and use it as a watercolor medium. Driggers also created this abstract self-portrait using pastels. And the shapes are broken apart. And what that alludes to is my, my life had completely fallen apart. And the meaning behind that is me kind of coming back together. Inmate Brian Cole gets his creative ideas from old comic books. A portion of art comes from women, including Rona Bayer, who is serving time in Florida. She writes on the back of one of her paintings. This painting allows me to move out of the available uh, space that I have here and go to other locations. I really love this painting because it is so peaceful. Prints of some of the art are also sold on the street. Ling Lo from China says arts programs in his country's prisons are unheard of. He thinks art in prison is a good idea. To see these guys who obviously have violated the law in their life previously, but now committed to, to do the uh, arts work. Sobin says art in prison helps people who are incarcerated also improve their self-esteem. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.